Either for those. Now, you might remember this trailer that we put together that's rocking a 200 horsepower 1JZ. And today we're going to try and improve it, fix anything that broke during our initial testing, and do some more testing. As per viewer request off road, and in extreme conditions on the road. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, allow me to show you what we've done to the trailer. So look, first order of business was the automatic transmission. Last time we were out it suffered catastrophic failure. I mean, it was still in somewhat working condition, but with what broke exactly, such as the shaft, it was beyond repair. And so we fitted a transmission that we're not familiar with, one that is freshly imported from Japan, and it is a great fit. We've also redone the prop shaft because, as you might remember, we got that one wrong. Now, to prevent it from assuming dangerous angles, we actually moved the gearbox into a different position. We've rewelded the frame slightly in order to drop its angle. Also, the frame was reinforced. And to improve traction, to ensure the trailer just picks up and properly goes when setting off from a dig, we have welded up the diff so that both wheels always rotate at once. We revised the cooling system, fitted a new radiator, a bigger one with a couple of more powerful fans. And so now we have got a more effective cooling setup than we had before. Now that we have done all of those mods, the trailer should be ready for some hardcore testing. So let's go and do just that. Time for some off-road testing. We're in the forest in the autumn season. There's been some rain, everything is nice and slippery. Here we have a lot as well as that lovely trailer. The idea is to try and see whether it helps off-road or it's a nuisance. But then we're about to find out. We fitted the trailer with some aggressive rolling stock that was made specifically with off-roading in mind. We've got some inclines, trails that go up and down. And me thinks that even something with all-wheel drive is going to struggle. You got leaves, grass, everything is wet and slippery. The wheels are definitely going to spin. Plus the hills are pretty steep. And at the end of this trail, there's this really steep incline that we're going to try and conquer. Let's do it. Okay, our off-road adventure begins. First we descend, and then we reach an uphill section. The trailer is currently inactive. Driving through a groove, you got the leaves. Everything is wet. As soon as I hit a rut, I got stuck. So this soil is extremely slippery. Also, you got the grass, I mean... There's so much moisture in the soil that the car cannot move at all. I guess it's time to fire up the trailer. There we go, now let's try it out. What sort of sorcery is this? You've gotta be kidding. This is just insane. I can't believe what I just saw. And he was lugging the engine. Wow, that actually helped a lot. Another downhill portion. Hold up, stop. 
Okay, so the trailer is on an uphill stretch. I'm in a muddy groove. What if I try doing this? Oh, there we go. Whoa there, where do you think you're going? Our first jackknifing of the day. Incident number one. This is something we expected would happen. Looks like the throttle got stuck and the car and trailer folded. <laughs> Holy cow! There is a chance we'll make it up. Tough to say how we'll do it, though. The trailer has got better grip, and the whole thing just folds. Yeah, in this situation, the lot is just useless. So look, guys, no matter what we tried to do to straighten everything back out, driving back and forth, using the car, the trailer, all that came out of our efforts was wheel spin. We had to resort to calling in the Prado, that thing came to our rescue and uh, pulled us out. Okay, well, here we go. Come on now, help me out. Oh, isn't that nice? This time the thing didn't even jackknife. But what lies ahead? Yeah, there's the hill I was talking about earlier. It's not necessarily a long stretch, but it is very steep. And the climb begins. Come on now, come on. Gotta make sure to avoid jackknifing. I consider that a massive win. My goodness, that was amazing. The way it plows forward. I'm gonna ease off the brakes. I'll give it a slight push and deem. Doesn't want to stay in place. Switch it on, go on now. Careful. Let's see how it do. Oh, that is some impressive braking action. Let's accelerate, don't brake. Hey, you told me let's accelerate, don't brake. <laughs> While on the incline, the trailer stalled due to fuel starvation. And uh, we had no more brakes. We need to get past this creek, and not just get past it, but while going really hard. I do not understand what's going on. Okay, so I'd say that off-road, the trailer did an amazing job. But we're not calling it just yet. There's another test that we still have in store. And I suggest we go conduct it. Okay, we are currently at the test track. And what we came here to do is find out how the car behaves out on the road. And to make this interesting, we've laid out a slalom configuration, which I'm about to try and navigate. Okay, here goes nothing. Right, so I'm moving at 40 kilometers an hour, which is a typical sort of a city speed. 
And I'm already up to 60. Wow, does the speed creep up on you. It actually did a really good job with that. So it got up to speed quickly and seamlessly. Almost 60, there's 60. And at this sort of speed, I'm not feeling any stress. I'm steering with just one hand, and I'm navigating the slalom. But what if I try taking a sharp corner? Here's how this goes. Bit of acceleration, then decelerate, turn the wheel, and apply some trailer throttle. Oh, you can really feel it push the car. What a lovely trailer. But let me try making a really sharp turn. Goodness gracious. The rear end really stepped out there. But then I did give it plenty of throttle, I mean... Yeah, I really had that coming, didn't I? Hey, well, since the car and trailer are folded, might as well try straightening it out the same way. This was off to a great start, but then something went wrong. Right, well, if that didn't work, uh, let's try a different method. A lot of goes forward, a trailer goes backwards. Okay, there we go. Look at it straightening out. Whoa, where are you trying to pull me? <laughs> Well, looks like I can't do all of this on my own, and I would like to try inducing a controlled oversteer. But for that, I'll need someone to help me. I'm going to call him in, and we should get somewhere. Let's go. I'm apparently the throttle control manager. Yep. Right when we make the turn, uh, make a sharp turn. I stayed on throttle. Nothing got stuck, I did let off. We're going to hold the car in place with the brakes, get the wheels on the trailer to spin, and attempt to slowly set off to try to get the trailer's single axle to move around. Hopefully something interesting happens. We would like to observe the physics involved in the trailer getting overpowered. Okay, shall we try lighting them up? All right, there we go. I let off the brakes once I see that it caught up. This is going very well. Nice. This is terrific. Now that's what I call a controlled drift. The trailer is drifting. That was awesome. The trailer drifting and also pushing the car. The car was still controllable. Terrific. 
Hold the car, please. I am holding it. And let's go. Give it some gas. There it goes. Look at it go. Has it caught up? Almost, yum. Hold it. I am. We got chunks of rubber all over this lot, and that is just terrific. Okay, guys, what we seem to have here is the world's very first drift, well, actually the world's first 200 horsepower drift trailer. There it is, this was 107% a success. Tell us what you think down in the comments. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.